Hey, Travis. You know? Will you be my Valentine? Really? Are you serious? What is it? Is it a box of chocolates? That's better. That's better? What is it? Oh my god, oh my god. Sample oh, box! Fucking juices. February sample box is here. I fucking love you. <laughs> Let's yeah. dive in. Cinnamon is the real C word on Cloud and Out Studios. All right. Oh yeah. So, first on the agenda, you guys are gonna notice a little bit of a new trend with the sample box because you can, if you go to sample box when you start it, you you go in, you set up a little profile, and uh, they have like preferred flavors and flavors that you dislike. So. I put down all the flavors that I like because I started doing sample box long before we started doing Cloud Now Studios, long before I worked at the vape shop. And uh, because the thing that sets Cloud Now Studios apart, there's two of us. Oh, yeah. I like things that he doesn't like. He likes things that I don't like, so I had to change the menu. So now you're going to see a lot of blueberry flavors coming in because I took away some of the flavors I like that he doesn't. And added some stuff that he liked, and he's a blueberry fanatic. But you're not a six milligram, so. No, I'm not. <laughs> a so, first on the agenda for today is going to be Belgian. The blueberry Belgian Belgian waffle topped with whipped cream. It's by how do you say that word again, Travis? Uh, purveyors. 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 <laughs> It's uh twelve dollars for a fifteen mil. You're looking at it seventy percent VG and it's coming out of uh, Orange County, California. So find it yet? Ah. Smell test. <laughs> smells like smells exactly like it. Like a blueberry waffle? More of a like a waffle syrup. So what type of coils are you running today? Ooh. Well, you know how I always got something fancy going on underneath the hood with like fuse clapton's and nichrome, you know, crazy stuff. Uh, not today. Not today. Uh, nope. I have 24 gauge 16 rat. 16? 16. I was guessing like 14, but my God. 16. They're huge. I like them. I like them. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice warm vape. It gives good cloud production, but it's not like right now in your face. Yeah, it's more of a like you gotta pre-hit. Pre yeah, it's a nice prime, nice prime heat. Uh, I think it's a great competition build. I mean, because you got you know your prime count and then your hit count. Right, as long as it doesn't burn out in the middle. But what I got going on is I think it's pretty damn fun. Oh, you're it's good to ninja. Yeah, but remember, you're doing that juice. That's right. Oh, <laughs> switching it up on y'all. Anyways, what I got going on is 24 gauge tri uh, tri twisted. Tri twisted. Yeah, and nine they, wraps. They look mean. They they really do. They look super. Earlier, mean. you 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 juiced me pretty well on my arm. <laughs> I got a couple couple little burns going on. She's a little sparker. God damn. That did you see that? Did you see that? That's like a clowning out banner. That's pretty sad. <laughs> Alright, I gotta juice it again because why not? Anyways. Dude, the flavor is there. I mean it it I'm sitting at IHOP right now. I'm sitting at IHOP. You gotta hop around though. Alright, let's try it out. I taste a lot of blueberry. That is spot that is good. That is spot on blueberry waffle. I'm a, I'm I, I was too scared that it was going to be all syrup. No, dude. That's I mean, really props fine. to them. Props to them. Provider. Pro, pre, pro, <laughs> See, now you got something fucked up. Provide. <laughs> pro, I, yeah, I don't know. It, it's P-U-R-V-E-Y-O-R-S. But, dude, hats off to them. They, they got a good flavor going on. 
phone. Was that your phone? What? Oh, that's her phone go off. Uh, like ten minutes ago. Five minutes ago. Right when we started. The camera movie. check. Alright. But yeah, real good flavor. So next one on the list is Dynamics. What we got going on here is back to one of my flavors. This is like Clash of the Worlds right here, dude. Yep. This is this is me and you coming together. Because I'm a big fan of citrus. Yeah. And this is a citrus blueberry soda with vanilla. So I'm thinking it's going to be like a 7-Up like a with like blueberry to it. Blueberry? Yeah. Is that what you're oh, it's it's dynamics. Yeah. I know which one it is. There it is. Alright. So what's the price point on that, by the way? This one is uh fourteen dollars for a fifty or a fifteen mil. Uh seventy percent VG and it's coming coming out of Seattle, Washington. And it's by Maginex. Maginex. They got a pretty cool looking bottle. I mean it's real simple, made in USA stamp on it. Just looks like a little dog tag. It says Maginex Dynamics. Huh. We'll take close ups for you guys too. So if you don't see it on YouTube itself, you'll see it on our Facebook group. And we have two groups still, right? Nope. We have just one group? One closed group? Yep. Oh. So we do have one closed group simply just because like a lot of people spam us. And this way we can really get intervened with you guys itself. And you guys can sit there and post all day. And we'll respond to it. And also, more importantly, get on the gram. Get on that Instagram. Oh yeah, I have. I'm becoming quite a fan of using it. I think I'm gonna. I think you're kind of like now we don't need Instagram when we first started. <laughs> I was. That's exactly what I said. It was I'm not gonna dick around with that Instagram stuff. But now I find myself on Instagram more than anything else. I really get that. Oh, I I really want I really want to find one of them soda flavors because I've tried a lot of the soda flavors. I want that carbonation. I'm not sure if the carbonation is there, but that's pretty juicy. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, before you can name off, I got a lot of citrus on the inhale and blueberry on the exhale, so it's pretty good. And I kind of got the vanilla as the aftertaste, so that the good if you like vanilla. I think it's kind of more vanilla bean. It's a lot of, like, it's settling in vanilla. So I think it's really good. I, I actually like that one a lot. Can I buy Putsu with me? I am. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you're on my Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> that is that. That is really good. Oh, look at this, dude. Down here at the bottom. Coming out of where I'm from. Really? South Carolina, man. I, I grew up not far from there, but. Oh. Well, not grew up. I, I lived not far from there. I grew up around here, unfortunately. Hmm. Um, and you know, I'm going to bake this. It's not it seems to be like an all day bake to me. I could run this in a tank. To run in a tank? I could run that in a tank. Again, that was Dynamics Citrus Blueberry Soda with Vanilla. I didn't quite get to the soda taste. No. Not quite. The next one up is Frosty. It's a uh, suicide snow cone flavor. Should we do this last? Why? I mean, it's supposed to be icy. Yeah, it might it might have some menthol on it. True. All right, skip like more. Of, it's probably going to be like more of a, uh, like refreshing menthol. Yeah. The next one is one that we know very well. It's uh, Keyberry yogurt by uh, Kilo E Liquids. Um, if you guys have followed us yeah. to this point. I'm a pretty large fan of uh, Kilo. As far as premiums go, it's probably one of my favorites. You're weird. I broke that, man. So, Keyberry yogurt is a tangy strawberry with a kiwi, kiwi yogurt. We already know what it tastes like. <laughs> we do. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to take it. So, Kiwi yogurt, it tastes exactly like yogurt. I have bought multiple bottles. So, if you ever go to a store and you just don't know what to get and you see Kilo, just go ahead and grab it. Just yeah, grab it. Any, any one of their flavors was, is very good. Uh, oh, yeah. One of the ones that really stick out is cereal milk. Cereal milk is oh, phenomenal. God. It's the best cereal flavor out there that I've tried, and I've tried damn near most of them. Oh, yeah. But, uh... Wow, I, 
Are you a blank? <laughs> I don't do that. Oh, Keyberry yogurt. Um, the thing about Keyberry yogurt is when everyone like tries to describe what they taste, everyone's got different taste buds. It takes me back to uh, Gogurts. Hmm. That's what it reminds me of: is Gogurts, the strawberry Gogurt. You know, I was kind of a. Did that too soon? I said enough. Um. I was one of those kids that I didn't get too many yogurts. Oh, dude. I always had a freezer full of them. <laughs> My parents were just like... Dude, I'm a fat guy. <laughs> chicken, mashed potatoes, and whatever veggie that you want. And normally it was like corn, like green beans. And then as for like, if I ever did take lunch out, it was a sandwich and a little bit of chips and maybe like a fruit snack here and there. <laughs> So I didn't get too much time with yogurt style. But yeah, Kilo, it's not a bad brand to go with. I think the only one I didn't quite like as much as the others was True Blue. But other people may think different. Yeah, that's true. All right. Red Whip is the next oh, one. I didn't actually this one. It's ripe strawberries, fresh cream, $12 for a 15 mil. It's a 60 VG. It's made by Royal Heights. That name strikes me as familiar. I think we might have done one by them. Rich and Famous? No, Royal Heights. Yeah, it, yeah, no. Rich and Famous is the... It's that one over there. It's the yellow one. <coughs> is this one? Yeah, it's the one we're going to try right now. Oh, which one is the one that's like... Rich and Famous is the snow cone. Oh! I'm sorry, I'm getting... I keep seeing the rich. Or oh. The oil. <laughs> I think we've done Royal Heights. I think we've tried one of theirs before. We have all our menus. We'll go check them out after. So What's this one again? It's uh, ripe strawberries with fresh cream. Oh. I this comes out of Charleston, South Carolina. I lived in South Carolina for a while, so this is kind of cool. Shout out to his hometown. Aiken. Aiken. Aiken, South Carolina. So this is probably the only bottle. I'm not sure <laughs> if it's like just me, but it's pretty hard to squeeze. It is pretty hard to squeeze. That is some thick. Smell taste, though, is really good. Wow. Huh. That doesn't sound good. It's really tame. Alright, sorry about if it's like really bright all of a sudden. We actually forgot one step. We turn the light <laughs> on. <laughs> Instead of lights, camera action, it's literally camera action. Oops. Alright, so... That juice is pretty tangy to my taste. It has a little sensation to it. And I think it's pretty decent on a strawberry, but I think most of the vapor oil knows what strawberry tastes like. Yeah. Literally, it's flooded. Yeah, it's a, it's it's another... I mean, it's a good strawberry flavor, but oh, yeah. the strawberry flavors have been pretty much perfected by now. Oh, yeah. So uh, it, it's good, but... Did you hear that custards actually take a lot longer to make? Than the other juices. Why didn't I hear that? Yeah, I knew it. I found that out today. Next one on the agenda is Emoji. They're coming out of uh, Cypress, California. This is going to be a watermelon sour patch. It's an iconic sour watermelon candy. So I'm assuming it's going to be like the sour patch kids. Uh, going back to the juice that we just did, which was the name of Red Whip. Red Whip. Um, I just got a really bad taste towards the end. I'm not sure why. I haven't got that one until now. So, you get that weird taste to it. I can't even describe it. It tastes like water. So, if you get that taste, you're It's not a real high alcohol-based. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, back to the current one. This is $12, emoji. a 15 mil, 70% uh, percent VG. Again, it's Emoji Watermelon Sour Patch. I smell Open. Caps open. Wow. Take your top off. Let's see what's underneath the hood. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. That's a dirty joke. If you think dirty, that's pretty good. I oh, dude, the smell is refreshing. Wow. Okay, so 
Nope. What? That's my top one right now. No, dude, it tastes like cologne. <laughs> it does. That's my top one right now. I think I, dude, it just for, to me, it just it's straight cologne. Oh, he did a double, oh. double, RX two hundreds. Yeah, we're the double Buddhas. We're the twin brothers again. <laughs> twin mod brothers again. <laughs> the RX brothers. You have like no airflow going on in there. Yeah, I restricted it down. Damn, I was like choking on it. I like I like the way it looks on camera. <laughs> Wait, what? The less airflow, the denser your fog. Oh, I know that. Yeah, so it looks better. Alright, anyways, um, to me, I tasted everything, and it tasted freaking good. Sour Patch Kids on fucking point. But this guy over here, this guy says it tastes like cologne. So if you have kind of like the flavor of Zach's profile. You um, know, I mean, that's that's the thing, though. I mean, that's, that's what the clouding out studios is about, is the fact that you could watch me tell you about a product. And you're getting my opinion. But when you watch us, we don't agree. So if you follow the show, you will pick whether you're side Travis or you're side Zach. Team Travis. Team Zach all the way. <laughs> Dude, all the way. Hashtag Team Travis. But so <laughs> you pick, you know, if, if you've tried the juices that I say that I like, then you're going to, you know, you're going to swing my way. If you like the juices that Travis says he likes, and you're going to swing more towards Travis's opinion. You know, even same with mods and tanks and RDAs and everything that we do, we're all different. Travis is not a big fan of Clapton's. Me? Oh, I, I, I know. But I'm starting to like them now. I, I love Clapton's. I love them. I don't use anything else until today. This is the first regular build I've had in months. But, uh yeah, that was, I mean, it tasted just straight cologne. Pop the shit. All right. But Travis likes So, hey. What? I can already tell him you might not like this juice. Do it. Um, anyways, what's the next juice? The next juice is Frosty. Suicide Snow Cone Flavor. $12 of 15 mil, 70 VG. It's made by Rich and Famous out of Orange County, California. And, uh, oof. I don't know about that smell test. Yeah. I really hope, I'm not taking a hit off of it, but I really hope this is really good. I don't know, man. It's what Clown House Studios is about, man. We got to tell the people, good or bad, we got to do it. Oh, uh, yeah. RX Brothers. Ooh. Here it goes. No. No. Yeah, I, I get that refreshing menthol. No, do you know what it tastes like? It tastes like sweaty speed to me. It's, it tastes exactly like a Newport. I don't even know what Newport You never smoked. Is. Okay, I don't smoke. He used to smoke. But, ah. No, no, dude. I, no. Reject. Get, get, get off. Get off the box. I would say That's not thing. even going into the final showdown. I would say one thing, though. After it settles in for a little bit, it kind of tastes like a snow cone a little bit. But I'm sorry if you got someone out there who really loves this juice, but at this moment, I really don't. This is, no. I'm thinking about changing out my cotton. I'm, all right. So, after that juice, I, um, our wicks are out, so we're not going to cloud it out, but we're definitely going to pretend. So, out of the five, because that six one that does not count, um... What was your favorite? Uh, favorite one was the one that you said that tastes like cologne. That's my all-time favorite one. The <laughs> strawberry. That's your favorite? Um, Actually, I forgot that we have Kilo, so it's going to be second. Kilo, okay. Kilo <coughs> first. Kilo yogurt is going to be my first one. <clears throat> and then my second one is going to be the... E what is it called? Like, what's the juice name called? Which one? This uh, second one. That's the sour watermelon patch. Oh, watermelon sour patch is my second one and the third one. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the more of the uh, waffle style one. 
Because it gonna, tastes like exactly like waffles. I'm going to agree with it up to the Sour Patch one. <laughs> and I'm going to replace that with uh, the soda. The, the strawberry. The or the citrus blueberry. So, that was our February sample box. This box was valued at $75, and again, I only paid $24.99 for it. So if you guys haven't checked out Zample Box, you're crazy. Um, so that's what the taste test menu looks like. We'll get you up close pictures of what we got. Zample Box menu. February taste test menu says, hey, Zach, we're listen to your flavor requests. We put together a great box for this month. Enjoy the fruit vape, uh, Tony. So... That's it, guys. Um, we pulled our wicks out, so from Cloud <laughs> Studios, we're clouding out. <laughs>